Hey there, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today for a video on how to train YOLO R on a custom data set. So you may have seen some of our other tutorials on how to train YOLO v5 or train YOLO v4, YOLO v3, scaled YOLO v4, PP YOLO, and some of these other tutorials. Well now there's this new YOLO R network, which is now the best in the game for the state-of-the-art object detection. And the way we track state-of-the-art is generally by looking at the best performance uh, relative to inference speed. So here we're, we're tracking uh, the MS Coco performance and we're tracking that relative to how fast the network can infer on a V100. The nice thing about the inference speed too is you know if these networks are small enough that they can infer so fast they can also train very fast and that's a nice advantage that we'll see here today in our live collab tutorial. So in our collab tutorial we're gonna first install YOLO R dependencies and we're gonna download custom object detection data to feed through the YOLO R network to train our network we're gonna prepare pre-trained weights, we're gonna run training, we're gonna look at our performance, we're gonna visualize how our uh, training data was looking, then we're gonna look at how our inference is looking, and then we're gonna export those weights uh, for future inference. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here to the notebook and we'll go ahead and get started. Actually, before we do that, um, you need to make sure that you prepare a data set. So if you don't have a data set, you can jump over here to public.roboflow.com and you can pick a data set of your choice. So here's public.roboflow.com. We have a lot of different object detection data sets up here that you can feed through Yellow R. Today, I'll be working with the BCCD data set. So this is a blood cell detection data set where we're going to be trying to differentiate between red, white, and um, red and white blood cells and platelets. So the way we did that is by loading in a data set here and then labeling each of the cells with a box with the corresponding class that we're trying to detect. And you can easily do this too with your own custom data set in RoboFlow by jumping into our labeling tool and drawing boxes around the things that you want to detect. So for example, we're doing blood cells today, but we could easily, just as easily do this to identify different mushrooms by uh, labeling mushrooms within the RoboFlow app. Then once your data set is ready, you can go ahead and hit download and then you'll export. You'll export your data set in YOLO v5 PyTorch framework for format. We may also be adding a new YOLO R framework format here, so go ahead and keep your eyes out for that as well. Um, go ahead and hit show download code, and then when you hit show download code, that will give you a curl link that you can bring into your notebook uh, to run training. So go ahead and jump in, jumping into training here. Um, uh, this collab notebook is completely open source, and it's based on the one can use YOLO R uh, implementation. And you'll go in here, and you can go ahead and click file, save a copy, and drive. And then the first thing you'll do is you'll download the collab notebook or download the repository that has been forked by RoboFlow. And you can go ahead and hit this hash here, install Torch, install the requirements, and then you'll also install Mishkuda. I've already gone ahead and done this stuff because it takes a little while to run. Um, and the next step here is now that you've got your dependencies built, you'll want to bring in your custom formatted data set. So here you can go ahead and put your curl link in and then you'll see your data come down. It will come down in images and labels. Uh, these are JPEGs and TXT files, which are representing your object detection data set. And then you can uh, go ahead and cat your data.yaml to just make sure that uh, everything is looking all right here. And excuse the uh, fireworks in the background, it's uh, July 4th here in the States. Um, then you can go ahead and uh, uh, go in scripts and uh, then you download the pre-trained weights. So this is where the YOLO R implicit and explicit uh, weights will come down. Um, and then you can go and cat the config here. This config file will show you the way that the network is laid out. Um, so you'll see here uh, there's anchors and the various way that the YOLO network is laid out. And if you've seen Darknet, this looks uh, very familiar to a Darknet config file. Then you can go ahead and kick off training. So to kick off training, you'll go ahead and point to the batch size image size make sure this image size uh, matches the same image size that you exported from RoboFlow in when you chose your resize options uh, point to the config file here um, and then also point to the weights file uh, here that we've downloaded along with uh, your data set which is all in the, the data.yaml and that will go ahead and kick off training here so we'll go ahead and run this and when you see this uh, working you'll see it'll fire up on your um, on your GPU and here we have a thousand epochs coded in but you can go ahead and stop that when you've seen the performance reach the level that you want. So in order to watch the performance you'll be watching the 
total loss here decreasing so it'll be going down as you're going down in the yellow r um, as you're as you're training your yellow r network and then you'll also want to be watching map so i've gone ahead and printed off what some of these metrics already look like here um, but you'll see this map curve this map at 0.5 going up and as that as that number goes up um, you'll be getting better and per better performance on your network and when you see that line kind of start to plateau that's when you know that uh, you've run training for long enough so I'll let this just go for a single epoch here and and we can kind of move on with the notebook but you're definitely going to want to be running this for longer so you can fully fine-tune Yolo R to your own custom data set so there we go, we can see the first epoch completed and in a couple more epochs you'll you'll get a map calculation and then you'll get map every every single epoch, epoch as you're as you're going down here. And I'll leave some more resources on on what map is below if you want to dive in a little deeper. So we'll go ahead and stop this guy here and keep going down the notebook here. So another thing you can do is you can look at your data. Uh, this is your augmented trading data coming through the network just to make sure that that looks all right and the class labels are right and everything. Then you can take a peek here in runs and you can see in train here, there's um, the various runs that you've been running and you can see a weights directory here. And in the weights directory, you'll see a bunch of different uh, files. The best overall file is gonna be the one that you wanna use. So that's gonna be your weights as they've been frozen after you've run, run training up here on your GPUs. And then you can go ahead and run inference. So the way you'll run inference is by um, running this detect.py script, invoking your weights choosing the confidence level that you want to infer at. So lower confidence, more predictions, higher confidence, less predictions. And you'll look at your test images and we can kind of run inference through all those. And this will be our network doing live inference on images that it has never seen. And so, of course, we haven't trained for that long here. So some of these images aren't looking so, so good yet, but we can see here that it's starting to identify uh, certain objects. And the reason why it says broccoli here rather than white blood cell is uh, we, I, I need to fix up this notebook so it points at the right class labels. But you can see that, that it's working and we'll have a lot of that stuff smoothed out here for when you, when you jump into your, into your own training. And then the last thing I want to show you guys here is how to export your trained weights for future inference. So you go here and you can link your Google Drive from this collab and then you can actually go ahead and just put those weights up on, on your, your Google Drive. Another way you can do this is you can go from google.colab import files and then you can do files.download and then point to the directory location of where the weights are um, so let's see this should be it here so if you look at where your weights files are saved then you can just kind of go down and download these onto your local and then you can bring that into your app you can convert that into different destinations and you're off to the races and the one last thing I wanted to say here is that if all of this seems like a little complex and you're having difficulty getting the network uh, to work the way you want, you can always go ahead and check out Roboflow Train, which is Roboflow's uh, one-click training solution where we work on implementing uh, state-of-the-art models and, and state-of-the-art modeling and, and conversion techniques to bring your data set to the deployment destination that you need. And um, that is always a good option, um, but we also encourage you to dive in here and experiment with uh, diving into yellow R and seeing if you can get the best uh, predictions possible um, by training outside of RebelFlow in your own yellow R notebook. And uh, thanks so much for watching today. We look forward to seeing you in the next video and, um, and, and happy training. And of course, uh, more important than ever, happy inferencing. So see you all.